So in this problem, we are provided with two constant vectors, the unit vector i cap and j cap. Also, we have omega, which is a constant, and the vector value function, our vector is a function of the variable t, and it is given by cosine of omega t i cap plus sine omega t j cap. So using this, we have to show these two parts. So let's begin by first writing down the vector valued function r vector which is a function of t and it is given by cosine of omega t i cap so this is going to be the x component of r and the y component is sine omega t j cap so let's label this as equation number one now what we'll do we'll take its derivative with respect to t so that will be equals to because i cap and j cap are constant vectors that will mean derivative of i cap with respect to t is equals to zero similarly a derivative of the unit vector j cap with respect to t so that's equals to zero so that means we only have to take the derivative of cosine of omega t with respect to t so derivative of the cosine function gives us negative sine omega t and we also need to multiply it to omega which arises as a consequence of the chain rule times i cap plus we have sine omega t so its derivative with respect to t will be cosine omega t with a vector omega multiplied to it j cap so this is going to be equation number two then we again take the derivative of equation number two on both sides with respect to t now on the left hand side we have the second derivative of r with respect to t and on the left hand side we will have derivative of negative sine omega t times omega so that will be we'll have negative cosine omega t times omega squared times i cap plus derivative of cosine of omega t so that will be negative sine omega t times omega squared j cap so this is part three now what we can do we can re rewrite equation number three so for the right hand side if we take negative omega squared as the common factor so that is multiplied to cosine omega t i cap plus sine omega t j cap now cosine omega t i cap plus sine omega t j cap so that's simply our vector value function r as stated in equation number one so we can replace it with r vector so that we have negative omega square r vector now what we'll do so we will take negative omega square r, r vector to the left hand side and rewrite to get a part one so that means we have second derivative of the vector valued function r with respect to t plus omega squared r vector so that's equals to zero so this proves part one now in the second part we have to take the cross product between vector r with its first derivative that means we need to consider equation 1 and equation 2. So let's take the vector cross product between r vector and the first derivative of r with respect to t. So for this we will consider the 3 by 3 determinant. In the first row we have the entries i cap, j cap and k cap which will be the unit vectors. Then in the second row, we will consider the components of vector r, so that's cosine omega t, sine omega t, and 0, because we do not have any z component. Then in the third row, we will consider the components of the first derivative of r with respect to t, so that as negative omega sine omega t, and next we have omega cosine omega t, there is no z component so that will be simply zero now we will expand this three by three determinant about the first row but this should give us we have i cap times no, sine omega t times zero is zero minus omega cosine omega t times zero so that will be zero so that means we do not have any x component minus j cap so for this we have cosine omega t times zero so that's zero minus or zero times negative omega sine omega t so that is also zero meaning we do not have a y component as well finally we have k cap so that it will be multiplied to 
So we have cosine omega t multiplied to omega times cosine omega t. So that's omega times cosine squared omega t minus sine omega t times omega sine omega t. So that's plus omega times sine squared omega t. So this gives us k cap. So we can take omega as the common factor from both the two terms and that leaves us with cosine squared omega t plus sine squared omega t which is equals to omega times k cap that's because this is an identity which is equals to one so we've obtained r vector cross its first derivative with respect to t so that is omega times k cap but we also know that k cap is simply i cap crossed with j cap so this was what we were asked to prove and that's done